Now this, this gives me the wonderment of space. Look at those planets. My God, they're just... Oh my God. So this is, um... This is why people... Oh, well, you know what? You know, all of this, uh, the controversy about the game, oh, well, it's not the same, and, you know, this, the starting soon screen isn't that good. I, I'm starting to disagree with that. So round and, and soft and oh supple. My God. God, I just want to explore her Milky Way. I, I mean, the, the Milky Way. In fact, I thought this was so immersive mm -hmm. that I even got his pawn screen replacement as well. You know, whenever I'm in a tense, hard situation... What? I paused the game. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Jesus. And I just get harder. I, I mean, I, I get a good deep breath and I get back into it. In fact, I love this mod so much that I even got the Dreaming Star Artifact Vision Replacer. That's right, whenever I touch an artifact, I don't see those dumb, stupid lights and sounds. I see something far more beautiful, oh. far greater. I can just shed this a tear. Is, God, that's so- is... <laughs> This is fucking- Dude, I feel like if you- Imagine what it would be like if you installed these mods on somebody's computer without them knowing whenever they first start playing the game. And they just think this is normal. They're like, what did you see? Uh, well, it's not on the options. <laughs> so we've got a, uh, uh, somebody linked me this. They want me to look at this. Uh, there's uh, apparently new mods for Starfield. Two of Starfield modding and boy has it really ramped up. I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know. All the most important mods out of the hundreds that have already been uploaded because God bless Starfield, but it is not a perfect game. No. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for the phenomenal release of episode one. I haven't felt this happy doing YouTube in many years. It genuinely feels like the, the happiest reunion I can possibly imagine. First up, boring stuff out of the way, but get Mod Organizer 2. This is the last time I'm going to say it. You're going to regret it. You need you a Mod Organizer? Holy shit! You don't listen. Installing things manually, not worth it. Get Probably mod a good idea. Too. So, a is the mod organizer a lot like um, Curse Forge for WoW? Beta release out for Starfield on their Discord. Yeah. Number two, okay. the Starfield script extender is out. For modding veterans, need I say more? Just about half of all future mods are going to need this, so might as well get it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now bear with me, okay? okay. <laughs> There were a lot of UI mods that came out. This is going to go by real quick. I'm going to use few words as possible, right? Like Kevin from The Office. Compact UI. Vanilla UI, fat, bulky, non-efficient. This UI, slimmer, can be even more. Oh, it's thinner. Yeah, why is it so big? Yeah. Slim, if want. Affect That's everything. A good point. By sell ship uh -huh. is this confusing does this make sense to you guys am i making this too simple For but wait oh, mission yes, ui true. also fat here come compact mission ui What's same this? do but mission okay enough of that starfield can be a very intimidating oh game God. at the start because of the sheer amount of clutter and items that are everywhere it's beautiful but it's also a looting hell what is a grendel What's that? What's what's a Grendel? Is that like a Smeagol? Is that like a Dobby? Oh. It's a gun. Yeah, no, I think he's right about this for sure. Those things are so fucking annoying having to figure out every single little thing, etc. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is a genetic sample bottle? Yeah. Is that somebody's... I remember thinking like at the beginning of the game, maybe I might need these things that could have a practical use, but they don't have any text to them. That's why there's icon sorting tags, and this is simply just going to tell you what kind of item you're picking up with the addition of a simple icon, mm -hmm. and this is going to apply across the board, vendors, looting, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lie, he gets very oddly... That's actually very convenient and super useful. Wow, that's perfect. Specific, this right here, that's 
That's yeah. a fucking succulent, okay? He has he has a succulent icon. Every yeah. consumable will tell you exactly what it does if you pay oh, wow. attention to the icons. Okay, now, don't get mad at me here. It's just how the game works. But within the span of only two days, Compact Inventory UI was replaced by the Star UI Inventory. That's right, nullified, rendered useless in two days, that's how fast the modding community is moving right now. We have a fully functional, complete overhaul of the UI within just a week of the game's release. What? Guys, we're talking a summary of the quantity and weight of each category in your inventory. How is it possible that this happens? One guy, like a guy just does this? And not only compactness, but the addition oh of- Oh my god, this is insane! I, I wish I had this! Property columns that are sortable. We're talking about extremely wow. useful information like damage, And you can just click DPS, on it? mass, value, and Dude, even- Dude, yes! value per mass. I don't think I need to tell you how oh, important yeah. this is if you were a true gamer. And if yes. that's too much, you can even minimize them whenever you oh want. And if that's too little, you can even add oh more oh properties. God. Everything from weapon oh my God. This is types to rarity to contraband. You could make your inventory a whole ass Excel spreadsheet if you wanted to. Looks and like even more is. quality of life features. If you're at a vendor, you can display how many of these items you have already in right. your cargo yeah. that you already own. And even the option to transfer entire categories of items between your cargo and inventory. This is great for material. Yeah, because clicking on everything is annoying. Yeah, that's true. It feels because you were probably going to do that anyways. And you can also set it so that it doesn't transfer anything that's already favorited. There's other things like the scroll bar. The, the game's been out for a week. How have they already thought of all these things? is wider you've tried to grab onto that baby in the this vanilla version and you've missed several times okay don't lie to me i i know you did okay it happened to me too mm -hmm. nothing to be ashamed of it's fatter now it's nice and thick it's oh grab God, that looks good well now okay that looks so Just good. get a good handful of that scroll bar yeah you even make it go faster too it's all customizable in the innie. You take 10 scrolls to get to the bottom, I take three. So do they just release the game and they're like, well, you know, if it doesn't work, somebody in the community will fix it so we don't have to. And they do! We are, we are not the same. And while we're at it, why not also enhance the dialogue interface? This is going to widen dialogue lines, so some lines don't take up two lines. It's going to center it, and it's also going to eliminate the black background for a subtle text shadow for improved readability. Now, that is definitely debatable, That's though, because in some lighter settings, it still does kind of disappear a little bit. Yeah, and I think this one is going to come down to mostly personal preference yeah, and customizability, the as the INI allows you to modify it in any which way possible, including making the text smaller, larger, right-centered, change the space between this the lines, like Microsoft change Word. the font. You can even add the background back, change its opacity, even its color. Maybe would... um, maybe what I have to do is I'll have to set the quest text, uh, the font, to the World of Warcraft text, and maybe then I'll enjoy the quest. And just look at all of this custom mist I mean, the options are truly yeah. limitless here. This is really a do whatever the fuck you want to do kind of mod right. but this next mod is truly a game changer if there's any one mod you should be taking from this episode it is this? this do not sleep on this it's called undelayed menus you see the reason why the ui feels so clunky slow and just overbearing is because of all the animations and pauses that occur between them vanilla starfield is rough man navigating the wide ass menus are time consuming enough but put all these delays and animations in between that i'm not gonna lie i rarely wanted to open my inventory and do any sort of management because oh wait, how does he have a thousand inventory space it's a mod I want you guys to never fucking complain about me exploiting in this game ever again. Okay? I don't want to ever fucking hear this shit ever again. Felt so slow. This mod fixes that. 
gets rid of that bullshit. By the time you've opened your menu and gone to the right place in your inventory, I've already done that like three times. And you know how Jesus. when you're navigating through the planets and stuff and you want to tab back out into the game, you have to press tab like seven times just to get there. And then that's why yeah. they added the feature to just hold tab to get back in the game immediately. But then for some reason added like another half second delay pause before that even happens. That's gone I now just too. Just hold tab and you're out. You're, you're out. No waiting. This genuinely makes the game so much more playable. It's not even funny. I cannot. How is this a mod? Like, I can't believe this. This is in this is insane. Th I, I, how the fuck is this even? How is this even possible? That Todd did it on purpose? Why? I'll play this game without it. Seriously. Now let's change the player health bar with enhanced player health bar. And it's simply going to change your health bar color at 75% yeah. health, 50%, and then 25%. Versus vanilla. Oh, that. Yeah, why don't they have that? Yeah. Huh. Well, where it only turns red at around at like least it's 40%, like a setting and then that's about as much warning as you're gonna get It's nice to be more aware I... of the progress of my death But you know what I'm truly dying when I run across an expert lock and I'm just like <sighs> Why just do it? <laughs> is it is it this one? Do I, do I start with this one? What? Maybe no. that one? You uh, just I, do I, it. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, that that looks right. Yeah <laughs> ten rounds later. You're like wait wait a sec Bro, Fuck people fuck these up you got like no undoes, no more digit picks left, and you're like, shit. Yes? Like, I'm not saying well, stop this it. is cheating or anything, but like, let's say if every single digit pick you went up to kind of looked like this. <laughs> oh my god. Fisher Price lock picking. Uh, hmm. I wonder. Uh, hmm. I don't know where this one's gonna go. Oh my god, security level expert. If you're having trouble lockpicking and you can't figure it out, auto slot the first one if you can't do it, because the auto slot won't fuck up your the future ones. Like, I've never had this problem. I've done, like, multiple master locks. I've never had this issue. Like, there's been times where it's taken me a bit of time. Sure. But damn. Hey, hey. Oh, it yeah. fits. We'll, we'll put that one there. Easy and then that one there. Oh, my God. Oh, look at me. I am such a oh lock picking extraordinaire. God. You know, obviously, this isn't going to be for everyone. Jesus. It's just going to be for the people that don't want to play the same mini game 17,000 times and would rather spend their time doing other things, which is perfectly reasonable. You know, oh I'm not going to judge if you get this mod, but I will judge you for getting this next mod. What and is that this? is the Dreaming Star main menu replacer. Look, the two anime girls shaking their asses were great. Great. But it wasn't uh -huh. lore friendly or dare I say, immersive. You know, it really took me out of the space theme every time I started the, the game up. Now this, this gives me the wonderment of space and occasionally a boner. But just look at those planets. My God, they're just... Oh my God. So this is, um... This is why people, oh, well, you know what, you know, all of this, uh, the controversy about the game, oh, well, it's not the same, and, you know, this, the starting soon screen isn't that good, I, I'm starting to disagree with that. So, round and, and soft and oh supple. Oh my god. God, I just want to explore her Milky Way, I, I mean, the, the Milky Way, in fact, I thought this was so immersive mm -hmm. that I even got his pawn screen replacement as well, you know, whenever I'm in a tense, hard situation what? i pause the game oh my fucking god oh my fucking god jesus and i just get harder i, I mean I, I i get a good deep breath and i get back into it in fact i love this mod so much that i even got the dreaming star artifact vision replacer that's right whenever i touch an artifact i don't see those Dumb, stupid lights and sounds. I see something far more beautiful, oh. far greater. I can just shed this a tear. Is, God, that's this so. Is... <laughs> this is fucking, dude. 
I feel like if you imagine what it would be like if you installed these mods on somebody's computer without them knowing whenever they first start playing the game and they just think this is normal. They're like, what did you see? Uh, well, it's not on the options. Immersive. It was incredible. Yeah. Like a dream or a vision. Don't Clearly. go having an experience on me. Oh, I had an experience, all right. A mm -hmm. full body or- All this trouble for that stupid thing? Sure don't look like much. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. It truly changes the true. entire meaning of the game, and that's not even a joke. But hey, if you want some in-game waifus, we're not quite there yet. You know, baby steps. I'm Let's sure start with improving the eyes of everybody with the eyes of beauty. Lockram's eyes of beauty have always been the standard for eye mods across all Bethesda games. It could be because each texture is... Uh I mean, it looks about the same to me. I mean, I'll be honest. I think it looks about the fucking same. It's drawn and assembled by hand, yeah. and he even has photographic evidence of his hand literally drawing the eyeballs. Higher, you know, vanilla yeah. eyes are very striking, sharp. They stick out just like in all Bethesda games. I swear uh -huh. to God, they just kind of recycle the same texture. But his eyes have soul. They have character. I can yeah. stare into them and get lost in the universe. The largest star systems are not the ones that we're exploring, but the ones so fucking in these eye textures <laughs> that he is drawing. They're just so rich with detail, yet so human. And I can't recommend these eye textures Jesus. more, as I do in basically every Bethesda game. Now, as with every Bethesda game, we always uh -huh. have this kind of vote of who made the most attractive face with the character creation. And you're probably curious as to who it is for Starfield. Uh -huh. And that would be, drumroll please, Hannah, a Korean female preset. That's right, folks. This is the most popular face out right now. 12,000 downloads, 65... 12,000? Holy shit! 5k views. Here she is in different oh lighting conditions God. because I don't want to oversell her beauty because God knows in Bethesda's lighting conditions someone can go from like a 9 out of 10 to a 1 out of 10. Yeah, well, true. congratulations sir, you are this year's winner. There are now 10,000 people walking around as a Korean female. What does that say about us Starfield players? Oh my God. <laughs> and now, finally... Bro, like, this shit is just like the most like... This is just some real down bad shit. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, the zoom? Yeah, what the fuck? It's only, yeah, it's only been one week. One really, really crucial change before we close out this episode. You know, that? since there really aren't that many waifus, really, Sarah is one of our only few options. Yeah, you know, I'm really shocked she hasn't left my ass, considering I pissed her off about 17,000 yeah. times per play session. You know, many of you are trying to romance her right now, probably. So this mod's well, gonna Well, you get 15% extra experience, to be fair. Be really, really essential for you, and it's called Round Butt Sarah. You know, 16 times butt details for the waifu. Now, is it true? Is it really 16 times detail? Or is he pulling a Todd Howard? I just, like... What did you expect? I don't know. And you know what the funny thing about this is? I bet that pretty soon this mod is going to be one of the most downloaded mods. It's probably going to be more popular than the inventory. Like, uh, like, uh, organizer. I'm downloading it right now. Here. Well, I took 16 hours to conduct extensive oh research on the polygonal detail that was injected here, that and I insane. can indeed conclude that Sarah does, in fact, do have that dumpy, though. Oh my fuck! Look, God. I can confirm as the most trusted mod reviewer Jesus on YouTube, Christ. I give this my stamp of approval. Well, I'm running off to MXR Plays now. This channel's not monetized, and an easy way to support it is simply just watch a oh video there. God. So yeah, I hope this helps some of you guys out. I hope you found some useful mods. I love you all. I'll see you all soon. Peace. Well, um... I, uh... Fucking like, uh, 
There it is. Quick the recommended. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I think that one might be a bit much. Holy fuck, man. Like, and you know what the funny thing is? I bet what's going to happen is like at the beginning, there's going to be mods for people that want to be able to play the game better. But every single week, there's going to be more and more Coomer mods. To the point to where like there's like nine Coomer mods and one mod that makes it to where like you can fly your spaceship better. And that's going to be about it. Yeah, it's just going to get more and more degenerate over time. Is that what happened with Skyrim? First time modding? I haven't really modded any game ever. I'm going to be totally honest. I never have. I've always thought modding games was like cheating. There's the video right there. This is great. Give it a like. This is fucking amazing. I've never watched this guy's videos before. So I'm glad to uh, glad to have seen this. Very high quality content that we have here. And um, this is exactly what the players wanted.